here I have my fat little hand I have this compass and I've got this camera focused on something here now I'm going to strike a circle with this and it may be a little bit messy because I'm trying to do this with my left hand and I'm not a lefty so here I'm drawing a circle all right now you've got a circle now I have not changed the setting on this this is set to the radius that I use to create the circle I'm going to start at any point on this circle let's just see what happens if I take a straight edge now through the center of the circle and I draw a line like that if at this point I made a perpendicular line here how many parts would I cut that circle into I cut it into four and multiples of four are possible beyond that but right now I'm going to do something else I'm going to take this point on the circle on the circumference of it and I'm going to start right there and I'm going to strike an arc at that point now I'm going to put the compass point there and I'll strike another arc and I'll put the compass point here and I will strike another arc isn't that interesting it looks like three times around has gone exactly to half the circle now I'm going to put the point there remember this is still set at the same radius here the same radius that I used to draw the circle now I'm going to put this here and let's put the compass point right here and look I come right back to the starting isn't that interesting by taking the radius of the circle and walking around the circle doing that carefully I come back after six times exactly to the starting point if I take and join these opposite sides the line will go right through the center of the circle and how many pie slices will I have cut the circle into six now isn't that kind of an interesting thing now if we could repeat that process going halfway starting at a point halfway in between and it's very easy to do that once again I have not changed the setting on the compass but I'm going to put the point here and draw an arc out there and I'll put the point here and draw an arc out there I've already got the same sort of a point right here where these two arcs would have crossed because that's where I started to draw the circle so if I now connect the center of the circle with that point out there I will have cut this arc here exactly in half so I'm going to do that and I'm going to take the line all the way across to the other edge of the circle in fact I don't really have to draw the whole line now let's do let's draw the whole line here like this okay now that I've cut that in half if I walk around this again here and here this point should be this one and it is here and one more time here now if I connect the opposite points I will have cut this circle into 12 segments that's twice the six segments I started with and that's as far as you have to go for your rose window assignment if you wanted to you could repeat the process and cut it into 24 equal segments but there's no reason to go that far on this little sample of a rose window that we're going to be doing what do you do besides this you want to make this a little fancier now I am going to change the setting on this compass on this kind of a compass it's got a little locking device and I can also adjust the length of this pen you may not have this kind of a compass you may have one that's a little harder to keep control over but I'm just going to demonstrate what happens here 
I'm going to make a circle here, the same center, but I'm making this circle smaller. What's the point of doing that? Well, the point is that if I can put a circle here in each one of those segments, then I can come up with kind of flower-shaped petals. And one way to do that is the way that the stone carver Joe Chafiller shows you in the reading that I had given you to do this. He says you need to put a compass that's set to half of this width here and draw a circle. And then you can erase the bottom of the circle and you'll have this petal shape. Well, another way to do that is to take a round object like a coin and put it here. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. It doesn't necessarily make use of this inner circle. It's a cruder way to do this, but it's a practical way to do it for our purposes. Now, what I'm using is not an American piece of money. I just happen to have had this around. It's a half of a euro coin. So it just happens that if I put this right here and I trace around it, and I'll use the very same pen here, that I get that nice round shape. And now if I move it here, where the sides of the coin just touch the line, I get a nice round shape. And I'm going to go around this thing all the way around in the same way, and I will get this shape that's enough of a petal shape for our purposes. So let me just see how quickly I can complete this work so that I can keep this video within the 10 minute limit of YouTube. Something like that. I could have done that by putting a compass here and trying to draw this circle, but that would have meant I'd had to sort of estimate the center of that and gotten the compass to do a rather tight circle. Now what are you going to do beyond this? It's really up to you. This is probably fancy enough. You could erase this circle here now and you could color these segments different colors. You could also put another circle ring out here if you want to. So I'm going to make this a little bit wider here, something the diameter, something like that. And now if I put a circle around here, I might get some additional ideas about putting some sort of petal shapes on there. And I could do something in the way of a, a larger round object to do that sort of a circle here if it presents itself, or I could leave it this way and just say, okay, I'll have some color scheme here, here, and these petals will be a certain color. You might also think about fancying this up by making a much smaller circle here. And let me adjust the location of the pen. Whoops, oh, it looks like, oh, I broke my favorite compass. Look at that, cheap goods. Now it won't work anymore. Can't use this compass. What am I going to do? Well, I could take another round object. What suggests itself? Here's a glass. If I wanted to sort of put that on there, maybe I could trace around it like this. Of course, a real designer of these windows would not have done such crude things as I'm doing here, and they would have had a much better result. But you get the impression. Use a compass that doesn't break. Not of this manufacturer. I'm sad to say this one will not do it. Not for very long anyway. See what you can do now about making a color scheme based on the colors that you see in some of the rose windows that I've asked you to look at. Hope this helps you in doing the rose window assignment. Bye-bye.